Back with Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, 1910 Germany campaign in the 1.03. I would say 1.03 beta. However, I think maybe uh, that dropped today. Um, I saw there was a little update uh, when I loaded the game up. Down here in the corner, I'm still reading beta. But that could be just because I opted into the beta, so it's still saying that. Maybe others, maybe there's a 1.03 live for folks uh, not in the beta opt-in now. Anyway, I could test that by just opting out of the beta and back in, but probably low risk, but I, I didn't want to take a chance on kind of messing up this save file, so I'm just going to continue with this. So, in any case, whether live or beta, this is 1.03, and it's August 1910. We're doing very well in the victory points. We've gotten pretty good end results from the battles, some of which looked a little messy in progress. Um, Britain has already uh, sent out peace feelers. <clears throat> And the main reason I said no was uh, one of the 1.03 features is supposed to be some sort of port strike mission, which which will result in a damaged uh, enemy port if you win, or your own port if you lose. Uh, kind of, I'm kind of hoping one of those comes up, and uh, we we see what that's all about. In any case, on to September. In this case, not on to September. I did choose fight to the end at the end of the last. Episode, did I not? I th I'm. 99 point I'll go back and look but I am 99% sure that I did that being the case this is a good example of just because you say fight to the end there is a small chance that your government will overrule you <laughs> and choose something different from your recommendation Well, as long as we're here, I guess uh, we'll just show that thing where... Now, before 1.03, purportedly... Well, not purportedly. I mean, people were doing it. it. It was established that you could press escape right now and you would actually continue in peacetime and eventually you'd have multiple wars. Supposedly that has been fixed, so let's just see what happens if I hit escape. Nope, I don't think. What happens if I hit escape now? Yeah. Yeah, so that's been closed off. I wonder if they added in where you can get ships now. There would be no reason to. Let's just ask for some of these ships. <laughs> yeah, no, that hasn't been implemented yet. And there there wouldn't be any reason to until we get the longer campaign. What happens if I hit escape now? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so that bug's been closed off. I said we do here. Uh, yeah, low VP. Pretty typical. You know, the other common one being revolution. If you go that far. One time, very early campaign, long before I started recording these, one time I saw... I don't remember if it was end reason or outcome, but instead of low VP or minor victory, which is pretty much all I ever see, and I think everyone else too. One time I got, and I think it was outcome, instead of minor victory, I got stalemate. 
instead of minor victory. And I don't know why. I don't remember anything about that campaign that was unusual compared to others. But uh, anyway. Our total ships built is just precisely what the starting fleet was. We never completed the additional BCs. Lost one DD. Sink a few of every one of the enemy's ship types. Very low transport losses. And we did see that the messages are back for the monthly uh, transport losses, which is good. In addition to that, I'd kind of like to see uh, uh, like a running total of readily visible in game. You know, somewhere in this upper right box or maybe in finances or something. Just a little, uh, you've lost X amount, enemy has lost Y amount. Running total over the game. I'd also kind of like to see what the power projection numbers are all the time, not just when a blockade is actually in force. And none, those aren't, I mean, lots and lots of people have said the same thing. Uh, so I hope that eventually gets implemented as they continue to develop the game and develop the campaign. Anyway, so this turned out to be a very short video. <laughs> there you have it.